Okay, a young warrior woman of your clan, Janesta, comes to the clan hall with a warrior woman of the Blue Jay clan, which you are feuding with. The young woman's name, the other young woman's name, is Ingana. Janesta declares that she and Ingana have undergone a ritual and declared themselves blood sisters that will fight to defend one another to the death if necessary. They say that we should follow their example and end our foolish and destructive feud with the Blue Jays. Uh, let's see. Bad King Urgrain declared that Doriskull was his brother, but when Doriskull won more glory at the Battle of Kandafant, he, with he threw Doriskull into a ravine. Okay, so respect the sisterhood but refuse to seek peace or make peace with the Blue Jays. The people do not wish to end this feud. We have yet to exact proper vengeance from our foe. Okay, I don't know what we actually... what, what we're feuding with them for. But, uh... So we can either outlaw Janesta, respect the sisterhood, but refuse to seek peace. Tell Janesta you will think about it. This ritual of sisterhood has no legal merit. Uh, Desrata. They should be more careful about mingling blood. It attracts vampires, you know. Holy crap, what? <laughs> the ritual of sisterhood contravenes our rights. She is a troublemaker, and we should outlaw her. Now this is the guy who's custom, right? Renowned in custom. Yeah, so this apparently is not legal. We are weaker than our foe. We would lose out if we negotiated now. So tell Janesta what we think about that. If we outlaw her, she will join, join our foes and fight against us. So respect the sisterhood, but refuse to seek peace or make peace. Although I have not seen such a ceremony performed before, new rituals are always possible. And this is our magic guy, right? Yeah. So respect the sisterhood, refuse to seek peace. So the majority seem to have either one or three as their, their option there. Yeah, Desrata is kind of... <laughs> So, um, yeah, those are basically our choices here. We are apparently weaker than the Blue Jays, so we need to bear that in mind if we're ever going to go raiding or go to war. Um, right now we're not too powerful against them, uh, but this ritual that they performed is non-binding legally. Uh, our clan laws do not support this at all, so outlawing Janesta probably would send her to the other clan. That's what a couple have said that we should do, though. Otherwise, it seems to be uh, make peace with the Blue Jays, or respect the Sisterhood and refuse peace. Um, I think that if we say we'll think about it, then, I mean, that's a very neutral thing for us to say, but I feel like that's probably going to not satisfy them. <laughs> so, I feel like this is one of those things we should definitely... Uh, Definitely consider. It is entirely possible that uh, because they have sworn uh, a sisterhood to the death, if we do fight the Blue Jays, you know, I, I, I would suggest that we don't actively fight them if we're weaker, but if they come fighting us, it's possible Janesta will hop on to protect Ingana. So she may inadvertently become an enemy anyway. Okay, so one or three. Uh, Gareth here seems to think that the people are going to be unhappy if we make peace. It will probably lower the mood of our clan if we make peace, because apparently, for whatever reason that we're feuding with them, that has not been satisfied. Um, everyone else is just not really helpful. And she, Liz Melder here, seems to be implying that this is not going to last forever.
Should I flip a coin on this one? I mean, I personally, for my two cents, think that number three is probably the safer bet, just based upon that. It's based upon what Gareth says that the people are going to be unhappy. But that also does, uh, you know, make it okay for their, their sisterhood. And I'm just thinking that this fight to the death thing for each other, die for each other thing, is going to come up at some point. On the other hand, making peace with the Blue Jays might also uh, might also help us diplomatically as we try and form our clan. You know, it's one less rival to have, or form our tribe, I mean. But that also depends upon the Blue Jays agreeing. We could try and make peace with the Blue Jays, but maybe the Blue Jays themselves won't. You know, maybe they'll say, "Hey, you know, we're stronger than you. Why should we make peace with you?" That doesn't satisfy our feud. And all of these things that I'm talking about here are possible within the game, because the game is that detailed. Do we, do we have an idea, or should I just roll the die? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think number three is probably the safest bet of the two, but you never know. Swing for the fences, try and make peace. I'd say number three, okay. <laughs> Shall I just roll for it? Let fate decide? So we will respect the sisterhood, but we will not seek peace. She said she disliked this decision, but would accept it, so long as we knew she would never attack her new sister's clan. So, if we ever get into a fight, she will not help. And that's okay, because we're weaker than them, we probably don't want to do it. Okay. So, basically no consequence other than that one of our weapon thanes will not be there to fight. Um, okay, so we are now in fire season. My goddess's needs are few. Uh, she seems to be very passive-aggressively saying we should do something with Vinga, but she's not a major, major god in our pantheon, I don't believe. So, uh... Where is... How do I get to the main one? I guess that's just... That was just telling us for the year. Um, that we needed to worship. Yeah. I don't have anything to add. Our people are healthy. Clan's fertility is assured. We should dispense rings to the whole clan. Okay, the clan mood is reserved. The farmers are resolved. The weapon things are resolved. Okay, so... People are okay. But they're a little pessimistic. Um, our food... Did our food go down considerably? It's not, it's not harvest season yet, so that kind of makes sense. We don't have have anything. Um, farming, we should stockpile more food. I think our harvest is going to be pretty good, though. Food situation's okay. 
We need 300 farmers, we got that. 260 oxen, we have exactly that much. So that's good. Hopefully we'll... So, so that's another thing to bear in mind, though. Um, I think that means we're going to be tough on our cattle here. Maybe increasing our pastures would help. Or, what does this mean? Does it mean too much cropland is being used? Anyway, I think it means we're going to be tight on our uh, our cattle here, our cattle usage. Yeah. So we we have exactly enough cattle for our croplands. So maybe maybe increase that a little too much. We will have to see though. Again, we're not done through a year yet, so the next bre uh, the next. Uh, what am I trying to say here? The next batch of cattle. The next uh, earthing of cattle has not happened yet. Um, yeah, so I guess we're kind of back where we were. We should sacrifice before sending a mission. So we, we seem to... The best friends are those that don't attack each other. Thanks, Angarna. <laughs> we should try to end our feuds. Well, where were you before, our grand? We need to survive on our own, if need be. Hayort encouraged us to get along with our neighbors. Keeping good relations is about gifts. Our best friends are six brothers, and the Blue Jays hate us the most. Okay. Well, maybe we should have tried to make peace with the Blue Jays. We can still send somebody down there. But I think that, uh, you know, thinking about it now, too, trying to make peace with the Blue Jays may not have succeeded because we don't have a shrine to Aceres. You know, they, we've been told about this several times by these two, that we need to have something for Iseris. So, maybe that should be what we do. We should sacrifice to, uh... And we still don't know any of Orlant's blessings. We tried sacrificing to him, and we ended up getting this this thing for the hero questing. We've also been told a couple times to try and get a trickster on the ring. So, we could reorganize the ring. So, I would say, if we want to do any trading or relationship building, we need to do something with Iseris. And we can also reorganize the ring. And we could also build. We could build some more fortifications. Or try and get... Uh... So, I, okay, so I, I guess... I guess I'll narrow... I'll try and narrow these choices down for us here. So... Just based upon what everyone's saying, uh, it would help us to have a trickster on the clan ring, meaning that we could get rid of somebody and put that old trickster... Uh, I don't even know where to, to look here. She's she's the only one, Drenyan. I think she's the only one who does your mall. Looks like, yeah. So... Our choices are, uh, let's get a trickster on the ring. Let's try and get something from either Orlanth or Iseris in the magic. Try and get a shrine to them. Uh, or focus on sort of building up our, our uh, settlement. So like fortifications, getting more weapon things. We were told that we don't have enough weapon things and we are weaker than the Blue Jays. So... Those, those, let's let's pick one of those three things. How about um, reorganizing the clan ring, getting better prepared for war, and trying to learn some more mysteries? It's possible we could do all of them. I don't. Again, I I, I thought last time the events swapped over after you made a couple decisions, but maybe not. Could also go on raids. But I think we should build up our our forces a little bit before then.
Any thoughts? Because those are, those are just the things that uh, our clan ring has been mentioning the most. So let's let's try and get a few more weapon things here. Uh, how many should we go for? A couple more, a couple more. Ask someone else about this. And Garna is really not helpful at all. <laughs> she is really not helpful at all. That is true. One of our our weapon things might be useless. If we have to fight. I have no specific advice. Our grand is also not very helpful sometimes. So it will uh, it'll cost us three cows per new weapon thing. And they'll also eat twice as much food as a farmer and require annual gifts, probably goods worth a cow. We have a maximum of 14, it looks like. Yeah, I think I think uh, that is going to be a little bit more, because I don't know how much food every season one person takes. But should we have maybe two more? Just one more? I don't think we want to go too much beyond that, for sure. Go two more. Just go for two more. So let's keep an eye on these numbers here. Three, four, seven. See how much that actually takes. Ooh. That, uh, that was a lot. <laughs> that was, that took a lot of food to, re to recruit that. So now we know. <laughs> now we know. That's a little bit pricey. Uh, we can spare the farmers for a raid. Okay. So we could do a cattle raid, try and gain some of that. We should recruit more weapon things to defend against the Walking Dead. She she is all about the undead coming. Uh, during Sacred Time, we allocated no magic to battle. We don't have enough warriors to defend ourselves still. Uh, we're in a feud with the Boscovi. This would be a good time to raid them, and now she has something to say. Fire season is the time for raids. Let's not forget we have a feud with the Boscovi. Okay, so we have no magic going towards battle. But we could do a cattle raid. And just get rid of everyone. Um, okay, so... We could do a cattle raid, try and get back some some stuff. Uh, we could do uh, re reorganizing, uh, fortifying lets us build ditches, ramparts, stockades, walls, towers. I'm not sure. So, like, if we wanted to build a ditch, okay, that's how much it costs. It's Twenty-five goods. That's kind of pricey right now, and it gets gets worse as we go up. A watchtower is only 10. So a watchtower, I believe, would help us defend against raids because we it, it improves our chances to uh, see them coming. It doesn't necessarily prevent the raids, it just gives us a better opportunity to get prepared for them.
So we could we could do that. We could build some fortifications if we want. We could do a raid, try and get some food back, goods back. We, we could go back into uh, the clan ring and see if we want to maybe replace Angarna here, <laughs> who's not been giving us very good advice. Everyone here right now seems all aboard for doing a raid. I mean, some of these some of these people are telling us we don't have enough people here to defend ourselves, and we do we are lacking magic if we do get into a fight. But it is the season for it, so if we want to maybe Oh, uh, okay. Look, look, look. Weapon Thanes 11. We have 12 showing we only have one, or we, we have one less. So I wonder if that means that... Um, I wonder if this means that because one of them is named now, she's not just like a general weapon thing that we could maybe get rid of, so the game is keeping track of her in particular. You're right, it did. But we also had a... a a named weapon thing last time too. I think that's what it's doing. I think the game is allocating that weapon thing as an individual that now is part of the story, so it takes it out of this pool. Because I think, you know, we can get in here and we can dismiss some people. Like we could we could have some weapon things. We could we could lower this and dismiss them. So now that we have one weapon thing that, uh, oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is her, because she's also a weapon thing. It could be her. I, I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> this game has so many integrated parts to it, it it's kind of hard to tell. I wasn't paying attention to when this number dropped, either. But I'm, either way, I'm pretty sure the game is keeping track of one individual. So it's not someone we could just dismiss. I think that's why the numbers are, are wonky. It could be her too, because when we get into a fight, our main fighter is the one that, that has the events happen, because that happened last time. So maybe it is, maybe it is her. Anyway, um, so we should do a cattle raid, try and, try and steal some cows. Uh, we should recruit more weapon things to defend against the Walking Dead. If we send too many warriors, they will be spotted. The Rakistani are the weakest of the nearby clans. I don't think we are at war with them, however. I think we're neutral with them. Let me let me go back here and look at our relations. The Rakistani, Stanti, Rakistanti, they're known for a large boulder with war powers. They have a magic artifact for war. Their chief is Broyen. They owe us a favor. This is also an option. We don't necessarily have to go raiding. We could send a trade caravan out and ask for some food. Um, back to war. Uh, if we send too few warriors, they'll get spotted. When they get spotted, they'll be mown down. Okay. We should recruit more weapon thanes. We send too many warriors, so let's not forget we have a feud with the Boscovi. Uh, we're li least likely to be spotted if we send less than 10. Uh, let's not forget we have a thing with Boscovi. If we send too many warriors, the turtles are the weakest. What? The Rax Dante are the weakest, and our warrior is telling us that the turtles are the weakest. Let's go see what the turtles have. They're known for a history of mad chieftains. Their chief is Heorl. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone, everyone's not super committed here. Uh, they're telling us we should go for the Boscovi. Also, I mean, the Boscovi makes sense just because we're already at war with them, but let's actually look at the Boscovi, see what they have in particular. They're known for their hatred of chaos. 
Uh, so they could... It, it might be better. Uh, their chief is Dunoral. They're, we're feuding with them. So the Boscovi, if they hate chaos, based upon what I know of the lore of the game, probably means that they are Uroks worshippers. And remember, Uroks is the god who is most opposed to fighting chaos. Uh, which means that they are a clan of warriors. <laughs> so... Maybe, maybe not the Boscovi. Right now, we don't seem to have very good choices for this. We've got one, one group that has a, a magic rock that gives them war powers. The Boscovi seem like they're probably a group of fighters. We could raid the turtles. The turtles, turtles are neutral. We also, like I said, have the choice of just going and trying to trade for more food. We we can call in a favor. We don't necessarily have to fight or excuse me, trade for food. We could just ask for food as well. We could just use one of our many favors because if we look at our favors, we have uh where is that relations? Favors favors do. We have 5 clans here that could owe us a favor that we could call in. Uh, cattle raiding is acceptable, yes. Full-on war is not, but yes, if we just wanted to steal some cows, that is acceptable. It, it, I don't know how much it affects, uh, the, the relationship. Like, obviously, they're not just going to be okay with it, but it's not going to start us feuding. It's not going to be like a, a declaration of war thing. So we could do a cattle raid on the turtles and probably not expect too much um, of, a, of a reprisal. However, I think as far as game mechanics it will then start making it okay for them to raid us as well. So we basically start triggering this cattle raid thing between them. Yeah, that makes sense. Saving the favors because we're not necessarily in a bad spot right now. We are, we are expecting a pretty good harvest and I think that's next season. So this could go up considerably. We're, we're expecting, what, a thousand in harvest? Our cows are a little bit down, but... And this is saying 157 herds, but that doesn't necessarily mean 157 cattle and sheep. That just means combined, so we don't really know the spread there. So I don't know, do we wanna, do we wanna even go on a raid? Should we go on a raid? I'd say those are the two things we have left. Is doing the raid and uh, and or trying to do some trading. I think though before doing the trading, we should probably focus on getting this Isari's shrine up. We've been told that several times. We could also do what these guys are saying and give some some gifts away or hold a feast. Well, holding a feast, I think, is for clan relations with other people. We should... we invite other clans over. Uh, giving gifts, I think, is just to increase our clan mood. And we can also uh, maybe swap out somebody to try and get our clan ring organized. I don't know, I, I realize there's a, a lot of choices here <laughs> for this game. It gets a little overwhelming, but... Well, right. We we don't have much food right now for the the feast, so we couldn't do a feast. We could give out gifts, but like I said, I think next season is when we're going to get this, so we might be okay. Um, raids here. Yeah. We could try doing a raid. 
We don't have any magic towards that. Okay, so I, I guess uh, I guess the problems that we are facing right now is we are low on food. We don't have very good prospects for uh, trading in relations because we don't have something for Iseries. Our combat is probably bad, and. Uh, we're sort of up in the air about what we should do about the clan ring. We keep getting told that we should be putting a trickster on the ring, but we also have certain individuals here who are not exactly helpful. Raising our fortifications might be a good idea. dice. <laughs> well, there's just, there's so much. I mean, you know, just, just from what I know of the game, eventually our neighbors will become more bold. We will have to eventually deal with being raided ourselves. So, you know, building up defenses is a good idea. We're going to have to improve relations with people eventually if we want to become uh, the chieftain, a tribal chieftain, so we probably need to focus on Aceres at some point as well. So, you know, long, long term, we will eventually need to focus on our war capabilities and boosting our, our trade and, and especially the mysteries. Um, short term, we're short on food. But we can expect a pretty decent harvest, I think. So, I guess those are the, those are sort of the areas that uh, we're focusing on now. Do you want me to? <laughs> do you want me to flip a coin, roll a die? You know, if if the season doesn't change until we manually make it do so, I guess we can just go down the list and just deal with it each time. So let, let's do that instead. Let's uh, let's start at the beginning here. Do we want to reorganize the clan ring? We keep getting told we should put one of, one of the tricksters on. when we go to uh, the magic stuff. And Angarna has not been super helpful. So do we want to do something with with the ring? change okay uh, Desrada is our animal expert supposedly okay so we'll come in here uh, bargaining I believe so we're gonna get rid of Engarna uh, should we just do a replacement with Heron here since he's the next best choice.
We definitely want one worshipper of Viserys. If for a trading. We'll have to choose who we want to get rid of if we want to put on uh, this one this one lady, Drenyan, yeah. So 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 here's here's the thing. Okay, we'll we'll swap out for this. Now, do we want to also swap somebody else out for a trickster? So if we look here, we've got uh, a leader. He's only good for leadership, but more importantly, he is an Elmal worshiper. I don't know that we have. Okay, we've also got. Uh, he's only very good. He's not a good leader. He's got excellent leadership, Tarkalor here. So he's the same thing, and he's about the same age. And he's good at magic. Very good, okay. So we'll probably don't want to get rid of the leader. <laughs> They've had a hard life. This is, this is Bronze Age living here, is what you're looking at. Um... Okay, Desrada here. She is Uralda, so she is an animal worshipper. Uh, well, not worshipper, but she she's actually the best we have for animals. Uh, Loracon here has excellent leadership, but he's a renowned customs guy. This is our, our custom and law guy. Um... Jareen is our combat. I don't think we have a better combat fighter. We do not. Uh, we just swapped in that guy for trade. This guy here, uh, Argrand, worships Chilana Arroy, so is the, uh, the healer. And then we've got Lizmelder, the, the plants, so she's basically the farmer. Um... So, by trading in, we, we could trade, so, so Drenyan here, the only trickster, is also excellent in plants. By not worshipping, uh, where are we? By not worshipping Ernalda, Ernalda is the Earth Mother, she's the Earth Goddess. I don't know what impact that has, I imagine it has some impact. Uh, on possible events, but as far as as far as skills go, uh, they are the same. So I guess my question is, do we want to swap out to get a trickster on the ring, or do we care? So the the only thing that uh, we've been told so far, advice wise, for tricksters is that they would be good for certain events to use as a scapegoat and possibly in hero questing. But we're not really hero questing right now. Well, I mean, they say we we should have one. That's the advice that we have been given. I don't know that we necessarily need one. Like I said, I think it, it might help improve our chances during certain things, but uh, what those certain things are, I don't actually know. <laughs> so, just just based upon the advice we have been given, a trickster would be would be good. That's actually true. Um, yeah, the last time we had a trickster, it actually did not help us. Yeah, it, it was that event. It was that event where um, some weapon thanes from the Herons came and demanded tribute or something like that. And uh, the trickster response to that was to fart in their direction or something like that. To insult them more, basically, <laughs> was, the, was the effect of the trickster. So the, the trickster basically gives us options for events that we otherwise would not have, I guess.
So people's... We, we, we've been told by the clan ring that it would help us, but honestly, I don't know specifically how it would help us, other than just giving us more options for certain events. So is it worth, is it worth the trading of the gods for that? Bearing in mind also that Drenyan is also age 60. It is possible that we will lose her <laughs> in time as well. Because, you know, I, th I think that another thing that happens too is that people, new people, come into the clan. So if somebody dies, the computer will generate a new character for us. And so if we are missing uh, a trickster, the next character that comes in may be a trickster worshiper. Maybe a, a Yermal worshiper. So this is not like our only chance to have this and, and that might be true that we wait until we actually start hero questing to need one you know we, we can swap these out all the time so that if that's what you want to do there we can do that just wait Unfortunately for us, uh, El Mall is not, or Lake in here is not uh, super important to our needs. But okay, well, let's just uh, let's just swap out here with the guy that we've got, and if we need a trickster later, we can always do it again. Oh boy, okay. Baron Wolf, a thane of the Apple Clan, asks you for a gift of luck and divine favor on behalf of his people. He reminds you that you owe them a favor. Luck and divine favor are not to be lightly given away. Our clan magic is not so strong, we can't afford to give them the customary amount. If we are generous, it will be easier to bargain with them in the future. Okay, so let's look at these. So give him nothing or offer gifts instead of magic. Uh, give less magic than before. Give more magic than is customary. This is our, our trade guy here, by the way. Uh, they have many well-equipped warriors. If we win their favor, they will help us raid our foes. So give the amount or more than the amount. We owe them a favor, but don't necessarily have to give them exactly what they want, exactly when they want it. So give them less or a gift. Bad King Urgrain owed many favors. When thanes of other kingdoms came to collect these favors, he said, I am doing you a favor by leaving your heads on your shoulders. Desrata's a little bit breezy. <laughs> she, she also has very uh, mystical forms of advice. <laughs> uh, if we give them more than he asks, we'll gain reputation for generosity, which will help us politically. Okay. Well, I don't know what is the customary amount to give, but since we only have two magic, I'm willing to bet it's going to give all of our magic away. So, we've got, uh, how many? One, two, three. Three saying that we should do more than is customary, and one, looks like two, saying we should give less, and we've got one... Two saying we should give gifts instead. Or we can just give the customary amount. I don't know what the customary amount is. Our magic guy though says we should we can't afford to give the customary amount, so I don't know what that even means. But the majority of them, everyone else, this this is our magic guy who says that we can't afford to give them all of our magic. Everyone else says we should give them more to build relations with them. Uh, the Apple Clan are known for dancing in every thunderstorm. Their chief is Harbard, 
they're in the Kolomar tribe, and we owe them a favor. Okay, so that's another thing to, to bear in mind, is that these are members of a tribe. The, so far, the only tribe in Dragon Pass is the Kolomar tribe. As we, as we uh, try to excuse me, build our own tribe, we will be a rival to the Kolomar. So these guys are already in another tribe. So that may not... You know, if we're trying to build relations with them, it may not be a thing that we can eventually get them to be on our side. Can I get rid of this stupid thing? There. <laughs> so maybe we don't want to butter them up too much, I guess. Note, however, that this guy is saying that we have not as much clan magic is also not saying we should just tell them our magic is weak right now. So, everyone is basically saying the majority have suggested we give them something. It's just we give them customary amount, less or more. Give customary amount. Okay. We will go with the customary amount. Our god talkers, magic minus three. Holy shit. Uh, our god talkers performed a ritual to bless the apples, which transferred to them a portion of our clan magic. Baron Wolf said it was good. We honored our obligations. So we are now at minus one magic. I didn't know you could go negative. 